Uh, so guys, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, on today's video, I am going to show you what we did last year. Uh, a year ago, sometime in August, we decided to uh, do a DIY uh, renovation in our kitchen. And this was our end results. I didn't actually quite uh, give you the overall tour when the dishwasher was installed but I have already had a demonstration of our Bosch dishwasher. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend that you do because it's one of the most viewed uh, videos on my channel. So on today's video, I am just going to show you uh, a few changes that I want to do, which uh, against my husband's advice, he had advised me uh, to put inside the drawers, we put liners. And because I actually went against him, I have learned the hard way that I could have followed his advice and I wouldn't have to be doing what I am going to do today. Today on this video, I am just going to show you inside my drawer, my, my, my um, kitchen uh, cabinets, because what I am doing at the moment, I need to repaint. So as you can see, uh, this is where I put my pots and pans and on the surface it is quite uh, the paint is really come off because of uh, the scratches that uh, are happening so i will be repainting all those uh, shelves in in the cabinet so that i can be able to put the liners which i have already ordered from amazon so i will show you the paint that was left over from last year's renovation so this is the paint that I used last year and I still can use it because it's still good to go. So uh, before the end of the day, because it's quite a hot day, I'll be able to paint up, finish, make sure that it's all nice and dry. And then I will give you an overall tour of the kitchen when it's nicely done, when I have put in the liners. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will serve me a little bit better because, uh, to be honest, I should have followed my husband's advice from the word go.
Uh, so the inside of the doors are all nice and painted. Uh, you can see everything is clean and back to their former self. So this is where it was the most dirty, where the uh, saucepans, this is the shelf and the cabinet which was the most dirty. So after this, I'm waiting for it to dry out and then I can be able to put the covers in. Obviously I will put back the shelves, the shelves are also painted, they are outside drying. And then I can be able to put in the um, liner and then uh, hopefully I will not have to be painting them uh, unless I actually need to so we will see and I actually also did give uh, the drawers a little bit of uh, extra paint and uh, yeah just to freshen them up and light them uh, liven them up again. So guys, uh, the cabinets are nice and painted. They are all nice and ready. Uh, my liners haven't arrived. They were meant to come in, um, today so guys this is the drawer and shelf liner that i got from amazon i will be leaving a description link if you are interested to buy the same it cost me uh, 25 pounds so um, i will cut it in pieces i will size them according to the sizes of my drawers and uh, my shelves in the cup in the um, kitchen cabinets and then uh, when i'm done i will show you I will show you how it looks like and how it stand up. Uh, this one is actually PBA uh, free, so you're sure you are not going to put something which long time if it stays in your drawers, it's not going to turn toxic. So it is something you can actually put in with confidence that is not going to be harmful or you know um, have adverse uh, health uh, effects on your family or yeah anything of the sort so guys let's go ahead and show you uh, how my drawers look like with the liners so guys i have already finished decorating i've put the liners in i've put back the dishes in so i will just show you inside my drawer uh inside my uh the shelving in the cabinets so we'll see how it has turned up if it is worth it to actually have liners or not but for me personally, I think uh, it is a choice that I had to make because my uh, the painted shelves were already looking really bad, especially for the uh, saucepans. So I'll show you uh, this drawer especially because it's the one which was really looking uh, not good. So those are my saucepans and that is the liner. So you can see the liner that one i did as i said i bought it in uh, amazon and i will be uh, putting the link on the description button so you can see uh, if you want to buy something like that for yourselves to put in your drawers as well uh, on this other shelf i also did manage to put in and that one as well uh, this shelf is where all the main uh, dishes are, the plates. So I did manage to put on this one as well, as you can see. So yeah, I am happy with the results and uh, I think it's something you should all also consider if you're thinking of putting liners in your drawers. Uh, I will see in the long run how it will all turn out. And I also did put uh, liners where I put my cups and glasses. So uh, in here, I actually also have my cups hanged on hooks. So 
that way I can be able to manage uh, to save and use a little bit of extra space uh, in that uh, shelf so guys this is how my kitchen looks like the overall look um, after this small redecoration that we did uh, repainting the shelves and repainting um, putting in some liners so yeah I am loving it I think one of the projects that we did in the house last year is just doing a very budget friendly kitchen renovation and also the bathroom and I still love my kitchen it's functional it's serving us well and uh, yeah guys if you are looking for ways to revamp up your kitchen in a budget friendly way yeah here you have an idea so I wouldn't mind if you steal from and uh, grab some ideas and uh, yeah go ahead and make your house look lovely and uh, working for you as well so yeah guys thank you very much for stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next one so bye for now